गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ कोरिंग मिठाया टुडे आई विल शो यू हाउ टू कोड अ वेरी सिंपल गेम व्हिच इज कॉल्ड फिशिंग सो फर्स्ट लेट्स स्टार्ट बाय नेमिंग द प्रोजेक्ट फिशिंग वंस यू आर डन गो टू बैकग्राउंड एंड लेट्स क्रिएट आवर ओन बैकग्राउंड टेक अ लाइट ब्लू कलर आई क्लिक ऑन द रेक्टेंगल टूल एंड फिल द एंटायर स्क्रीन टेक अ डार्क ब्लू शेड एंड मेक अ स्मॉल रिवर वी विल बी हैविंग फोर स्पॉट्स आवर गेम player fishes and screens and thumbnail hold your mouse pointer to the spread bar and click upload click on the nine fishes and your player and click upload you can draw them if you want to i click on the player and name the sprite player and for the nine fishes i'm going to name them fishes go to backgrounds click on the rectangle tool and choose a dark brown color and make a rectangle so that it seems like our player is sitting on the ground Go to the costumes tab of the fishes sprite and right click and press duplicate on the first costume 9 times until you have 9 costumes. Click on the select tool and delete all the fishes and by order Once you're done, can you add all of the fishes to vector? Finally, now you can select your fish and drag each of the fishes in the middle. Once you're done, set the direction to 130 degrees. Go to the player sprite and then let's code. When green flag click from events, from controls, a forever and an if then loop. And from operators and go to backgrounds and then press and press duplicate on the previous background. Click on the text tool and write click space. Then let's code for the background. When green flag click from events from looks to switch backdrop to backdrop 2 separately and change one of them to backdrop 1 drag the switch backdrop to backdrop 1 block under when green flag click from controls a forever loop and wait 1 second block and change it to 4 seconds drag the switch backdrop to backdrop 2 under it right click and press duplicate on the wait for 4 second block and drag it below Go to the player sprite and let's continue to code from operators and equals to block first. Go to looks and add a backdrop number block. Write two on the right. Go to sensing and add a key space pressed block. From up events, a broadcast message on block and make a new broadcast called show scores. Now go to the fishes sprites and name the fishes in order of five table. Now let's go for the fish spread. When green flag click from events and when I receive show scores block. From looks a height block under when green flag click and show under show scores. Also from motions a go to x and y block. From looks a switch costume to costume 45 block and from operators a pick random 1 to 10 block and change it to pick random 1 to 9. Move your fish and go to motions and add a glide one second to x and y block and change it to 2 seconds. Go to variables and right click on the my variable named variable and press delete. Make a new variable called score. And don't forget to add a set score to zero block after when green flag clicked. Also, add a change score by one block under when I receive show scores. From looks, add a costume name block and drag it under one. Go to the player sprite and drag a wait one second block from controls under the broadcast show scores. 
Now let's head up to make our end screen. Hover your mouse bar to choose a spread button and click paint. Name the spread WNL screens. You can name it whatever you like it to be too. Click on the rectangle tool and change the color to red. Fill the entire screen. Right click and press duplicate on the backdrop. Change the color to blue and go to the red screen. Click on the text tool and write lost on the red screen and win on the blue screen. Also name them W and L. Now, let's start coding for the end screens. When green flag click from events, from controls, a forever and an if then loop. But how do we actually lose this game? I'll tell you. Go to the fish spread and duplicate the seventh fish. Uh, click on the bridge tool and set the color to white. Make bones for the fish. Once you're done, click on the line tool and set the size to 5. Make the eyes and mouth for the dead fish. After that, delete the actual fish and change the code to pick random 1 to 10. From controls, a forever and an if done loop. From events, a winner is show scores block. Go to looks and add a costume number block and I will change it to costume name. Go to operators and add a equals to block and drag costume name on the left and write zero on the right. When green flag click from events, from controls, a forever and an if then loop. Go to operators and add an equals to block, a variable, a score variable on the left side. Go to events and add a when I receive lost block. Go to looks and add a switch costume to W inside the if then loop, a switch costume to L, and below when I receive lost. A drag to go to front layer blocks before the switch costume to W and L. A show block after each of the switch costume to block. And don't forget to add a stop all blocks after the show blocks and a hide block after when green flag click. Hover your mouse pointer to choose spread burn and click paint. Go to backdrops and press ctrl C and go to blank spread you made and press ctrl V. Go to your player, press ctrl C, go to the new spread you made and press ctrl V. Take any three random fishes, rotate them and paste them on different positions on your blank spread. On the text tool, set the color to black. You can write the text you want to be, but I will be writing fun fishing game. When green flag click from events, from looks, a set color effect to zero block and change it to set ghost effect to 100. But also add a go to front layer block. Here, we have a glitch. We will win only if our score is 50 and the game will be endless if we never get to number 50 and jump to a number above it. So go to the end screen spread and add a greater than block from operators. Also right click and press duplicate on the score variable and add the block from operators to drag the score equals to 50 and it's greater than 50 on the end. Drag the and to the if then loop. Here we have a glitch. So to fix it, let's replace the and with an or. You can now drag the score equals to 50 and is greater than 50 on the or block and drag the or on the if then loop. Also, I'm sharing the project I'm making so that you can check it if you have problems. Subscribe, like, share and ring the bell below so that you don't miss any of my cool videos. Bye bye and see you in my next video.